Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Atlanta is in the heart of college football country. It's going to be home to the National Football Foundation's College Football Hall of Fame. And both of these teams hope that perhaps they can deliver a Hall of Fame-worthy performance in the Georgia Dome in this neutral site clash. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. And this season is officially underway. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. To the 40. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 43 yard line. They picked a good time to go with that call. It didn't seem like the defense was ready for it. And they'll move the chain. He's at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown. Big play. the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Colorado State takes on the Buffaloes in the Rocky Mountain Showdown. This one was tight. And for Keith, he powered his way into the end zone for two touchdowns. The Buffaloes top it off with a seven-point win. Armstrong gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 10. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out out of the field for the first drive of the game. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. So it's second and ten. The ball on their own 30. And down he goes, right around midfield. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. He's got it with room to run. And he's taken down around the 41-yard line. That brings up second and one. From the 41-yard line. Second down. Here we go. Fires out to his wide out. They'll bring him down at the 20. From the 20 yard line, it's first down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That makes it second and ten. Lee comes into the quarterback. 
Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. There's a strike complete. He's down. Moore gained seven yards with a catch there. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. The Bears quarterback down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Kicks up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Baylor ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Tackle around the 36-yard line. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there, and they can do better than that. California holds a four-point lead. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Decides to slide. Play by the halfback. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six two yards. Two times, two times. Two times. Two times. On the ground, left side. They'll get him for a loss. That makes it second and ten. Him hard at the 45 yard line. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. So they try to fool him with the run, but the defense was all over it. Great job here by the defense to penetrate the offensive line and get to the ball carrier before he got too many yards. Johnson awaits the snap. They know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. From the 49-yard line, first down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. And they get a nice defensive play. I mean, here's a play you don't see very often. That time they brought pressure from the corner position, and the line couldn't pick him up, and he was able to wrap the quarterback up for a sack. That's a good defensive call. Gets it. He's in space. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 44. From the 44-yard line, 
Third down. Tipped away. Well defended that time. You're right. Great job here by the defender playing the ball, keeping his balance and getting in the way of that pass. This is a very questionable play call here. I'm not sure I agree with it. Slings it. Tackle made right around the 20. It's first and 10. Ball on the 20. the three-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Defense in their short yardage package. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calls. This is the eighth play of this drive. Moves up in the pocket. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 65-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So our score, 10-7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Hands it to the back. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Zips it to the back. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings up second and nine. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands.
He makes the PAT. A four-play, 74-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot. They also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. He just drills this one. Armstrong has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. Well, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. And they got him. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It would be interesting to see how he responds to this hit, whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Quickly, and he's got his man, and they make the stop at the 47 yard line. That makes it third and three. The scoreboard lit up in that first 15 minutes. California's up by four. Back to the action check, now check. here in the second quarter. Regular, regular, regular. Check, check. Regular, regular, regular. Here we go. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That was some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down. Brooks, the return man. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. California is up by four. It's recovered. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost him. It's second and 15. Ball on the 34-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. That's a great tackle. The 37-yard line. Five wide. And he tackles him hard. The 49-yard line. That makes it worth an inch. Tackled at the 16 yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Out of bounds around the 24 yard line. That makes it second and two. Oh, 
So it's second down and about two yards to go. He wants it all. Oh, and he can't hold on. it out maybe to the 26 yard line. Smith is waiting for the snap. He's at midfield. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The Golden Bears obviously have built their offense around this guy. And through two quarters, everything's working, Herbie. But, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. This offense is obviously off to a great start. It's a four-quarter game. And, you know, the opponent's going to try to get back into this game, take some chances. So if this running back is smart, he'll continue to challenge himself, his offensive line, and the entire offense continue to try to put more points up on the board. And he's level at the 42-yard line. That makes it seven and six. California is up four. And he is drilled at the 50-yard line. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Miller gets it on the inside. Got the corner. He's at the 30. He's pushed out of bounds around the 14-yard line. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the six. That'll make it fourth and two. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. California holds a four-point lead. Again, he'll get the call. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 47-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. We're about set to start things up again. And down he goes at the 34. That's a deep. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Check, 
Quick strike to the receiver. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown. Big play. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Baylor is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. California is up by four. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's sacked. Great penetration to get in there and sack the quarterback. This defensive end has provided a very efficient pass rush. One of the keys to this game was for him to get to the quarterback. And he has really done that today. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Dumps it complete over the middle. Tackle at about the 19-yard line. for the first and he stops the Bears taking their first time out of the half Moore is back awaiting the punt and he muffed it In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's tackled at about the 23-yard line. Golden Bears call a timeout. That's their second of the half. First and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. California is up four. Scrambling around, and they get the sack. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Again, they sack the quarterback. Baylor's going to have to use their second time out of the half. His pass rushing dominance is bringing him close to the single game sack record. Well, this guy's putting on a clinic on how to be a dominant pass rusher. He's so well coached, but he also has a ton of intangibles that you just can't teach. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Kicks away, and he just drilled it from long range. Armstrong is lined up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback.
They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Wants to go long and does. Oh, what an interception. Brought down around the 28-yard line. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. California is up by a touchdown. I'm sure both defensive coordinators will be going back to the drawing board in the locker room at halftime. California leads it 24-17. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 22-yard line. Throws it to coverage, just picked off. Tackle made right around the 24-yard line. Fires to the wide out, first down. Touchdown, catch! the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line. Sacked on the play. That's a loss of 12 yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's taken down at the 38. That's a D. Finds his man, first down. That makes us first in time. him hard at the 45-yard line. That makes it second and six. And he 
he's hit before he can go anywhere. And for Forte, he's now gone over 300 yards passing for the game. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. Got a man. Watch out here. And they make the stop at the two-yard line. That's good for the six yards. That makes it first and goal. First and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. They put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, Bears! And he converts the extra point. Line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bears have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Fires out to his receiver. And he jumped out of bounds at about the 49. California up seven points. to about the 47-yard line. Almost intercepted there. He was that close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. it in first down and he's knocked out of bounds hands it off the 10 he scores! What a play! He's been a force getting to pay dirt three times. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. And he tacks on the extra point. Sailing downfield. He's to the 10. It's a fumble. Picks up the loose ball. And he scores. Touchdown. Slipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. And he tackles him hard at the 28. It's second and 13. 
Ball on the 28-yard line. And he throws it away. rid of it quickly nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down yeah instead of going for the interception they did the safe thing and that was just to tip it away they're going to try a long field goal here the kick is away it's long enough and he nails the long field goal As the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. That brings up second and nine. Q26, Q26. And watch the slant. Check, check. Stay on. Stay on. Just throws this one away. A flag is thrown after the pass, and this one's going to be grounding. Intentional grounding. Offense. You try to avoid taking the sack, but sometimes going down is better than making a mistake like this. It's third and 14. Ball on their own 21. Here we go. Slings it. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. You got to give the receiver a chance to make the play. That was just underthrown. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 38. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Ward gains about five yards on the play. with room to work. They'll bring him down at the 19. He's rolling right. He's pushed out of bounds at the 21-yard line. From the 21 yard line. It's second down. Caught out in the open. Knocked out of bounds at about the 11. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. The short yardage defense here. On the ground, left side. And he can't get in, trying for the two-point conversion. 
A nice eight play, 74 yard drive, but they just get six points after failing to convert the two. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. California is showing that they are not going to be denied here in this third quarter. Well, they've completely dominated the second half, and they have taken control of this game, and I don't think they're going to let go of it. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. with the extra point. A short three-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 10. At the 30. Across midfield. He finally goes down at the 39. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Receiving <laughs> So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Five wide. He's hit and taken down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws it deep. Knocked down, incomplete. Excellent coverage on the play. You might say that he made the wrong move here, but this is what they're taught to do in the secondary. Bat the ball down if they don't have a chance to the interception. That's a great play by the corner. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. at the 39. First down grab by the receiver. Brought down at about the 23-yard line. Tackle made at the 12 yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's in for 
to score, and they're back in it. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. They're crowding the line. He's in for the conversion. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Golden Bears are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for them. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. He's hit and got away. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. and he's got his man and he's tackled around the 36 yard line that's three down and one to go golden bears with a 10 point lead Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. On play action, he'll scramble. He's taken down at about the 35. That's good for two easy, two easy. That makes it second and eight. They'll knock him down for a loss. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. He throws. And this one falls incomplete. Remember, this is college football. All you need is one foot down to be able to make this catch. This time, the wide receiver is just too close to the boundary, not allowing himself to get either his left or right foot down. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. Baylor's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They scored 24 points in a row. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And a quick throw. And they push him out at the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Check, 
Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on the 21. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. And they make the stop around the 11 yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. There's a strike complete. He's down. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Touchdown, Bears! Converts the extra point. Baylor lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Golden Bears have put up 24 unanswered points. One team can't do anything wrong. The other team can't do anything right. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. California with a six-point lead. Nearly intercepted. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Makes his way to about the 42. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is making a nice, short tackle on the ball carrier. Scrambling around. Very good tackle in space. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. out to about the 48-yard line. You know, the defense here had a chance to get a stop, and they gave up another first down to this offense. Again, when they get this offense into third down, it's about really stepping up and somebody making a play. That time, they were unable to do that. He laterals. He's at the 30 to the 20, the 10. Touchdown! Big play! Two points here. Now he tries to buy some time. They don't get it. He's got the two. So they're going to try and determine exactly where the ball was when he went down. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball.
So the call on the field will be reversed. Armstrong has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. Tackle at the 13-yard line. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Now is when you have to get the ball to your impact players. Down two possessions. If these guys wait any longer to step up, it's going to be too late. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 13. Makes the catch and look out. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Quick throw. They'll bring him down right around the 40. Tackles him hard at the 23-yard line. He's got it with room to run. Touchdown, Baylor! Makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Fights forward to about the 39. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the senior corner who came in from the outside and made a nice play. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? From their own 38-yard line, third down. Just over two minutes in the game. Trying to get a head start there. False start. Offense. Still third down. The penalty digs him a big hole with third and long. Kill, 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 kill. After a decent run up the gut. 
Johnson will be the return man. Fielded at the 19. Brought down at the 26. The Bears battled all game long, but it's not looking so good right now. Well, but remember, they're still within striking distance here. If they can put together a drive, they got a shot to win this game. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. From their own 26-yard line, second down, just over a minute left. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. There was a laser across the middle, right down, right around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and two. And that just might do it. Intercepted. Tackle made at the 48. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. For their own 48-yard line. First down. Taken down in the backfield. The Bears will use their first time out of the half. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. Baylor's going to have to use their second time out of the half. down now and they need to get it inside the 42. Here's a run. Well a lot of frustration by that offense but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. Time's becoming a factor now as the offense takes over after the punt. They've got the ball back, but boy, it's going to take some big plays to get into the end zone with such little time left on the clock. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. And he's immediately tackled. And for Forte, he might just pass his way into the record books today. Five wide. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Your instincts tell you to go for the pick. You've got to make the best play you can, and sometimes it's just batting the ball away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. And he 
was tackled right around the 32-yard line. He zips it out to the right. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. As they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. Golden Bears know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play calling, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. 